Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Lotta Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. And this time, it's not, well, it's not ranked, actually, I lied to you. It's a custom 1v1, but it's on the PTS. We're playing the new Erling Shen, the reworked Erling Shen. The reason I'm using the quotes is because he didn't get too much changed, but he got enough change for it to be considered a rework. Um, He's still OP with mannequins and a berserker shield. So those are the items I'm going to go in the beginning. As well as probably a meditation. So here's the thing. Uh, His three got changed to where it no longer does... Well, okay, I, how do I say this? As you see right here with the turtle, he gains a health shield that is boosted by 75% of his protections from items and abilities, by the way. It doesn't say here, but it does work with and abilities in a conquest game his passive got changed to do more percentage health but less of my basic attack damage so better against tanks which will be better against this shock here and my one got changed to now give me life steal and damage reduction stacks not just pure damage so overall a massive benefit i think overall definitely a massive benefit not to mention my mink form is going to give me 15% movement speed now when it finishes. All right. No big deal. I will be maxing my one because getting protection shred and extra life seal is going to be massive for me. I do need to turn on instant cast again because I'm not playing the new gods. So. Now I'm curious. My alt no longer... Not my alt, I'm sorry. My three no longer knocks up at all. So using your turtle form is exclusive to just getting the shield. Well, and obviously the damage. But the damage of mink form is better anyway. So if you're using your turtle form for damage, it's a little weird. As you can see, the mink form does more damage on the base and gives you attack speed and gives you movement speed. And has more scaling. It has twice as much scaling. So it's a little weird. But the shield is really good. Max rank that turtle shield is going to be 235 base. Or I'm sorry, the turtle shield is going to be 250 base. Not to mention 75% of protections. So uh, you're going to have a really, really tanky time on this character. So what I'm going to do this game is I'm going to build a whole lot of tank. And I'm going to see just how big we can get that shield. Now... If I can get enough protections, I'm sure I can make this shield, you know, five or 600 HP every time I use my three. It's going to be insane. Right now, the shield is pretty small. It's not leveled too much, and I don't have much protection to help boost it anyway at the moment. So. But yeah, I think the way you level Erlang, you used to level the three. I think you level the one now. Is the one giving you... Up to 21% damage reduction and 20% lifesteal. It's just way too good to not max. It's going to help you win almost every boxing potential fight. Like, I'm fighting a Chalk who should just kind of rail me, right? But I don't know. I want the HP shield here. I can't auto attack. My button wasn't working. All right. By the one, by by the one. By the way, the one is still reduced by one second every time you land an auto attack. So it's uh, it's pretty great. You're gonna have that one up really often. Also, I know the stuttering is pretty bad. It's PTS. There's not really anything I can do about it. Um, the PTS literally just went live, so I'm sure everybody and their mother is playing right now. They're probably just under a, a bit of stress at the moment. Damn, I just got 100 HP in one auto attack, and I don't even have lifesteal. Okay. My ultimate, by the way, now gives me 20% reduced damage. Um, As you can see right here. Giving me 20% reduced damage. And... If, uh, hold on. 
Why did I heal twice there? I healed so much. I feel like I should have only healed uh, like a much smaller amount. Heal plus plus. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. But who knows? Who knows? PTS, everything's messed up. All right, now I want to go um, stone cutting sword. That's going to give me... Actually, that's not that much protection, is it? I want protection, but I also want damage, right? Like, I don't want to just lose the game while showcasing a big a big heal or shield. So I think I'm going to go stone cutting because it's going to give me a little bit of protection. And this shield is already going to be pretty massive for me. I mean, enough to tank through the entirety of the buff. Which did over 150 damage. Hello? You don't scare me at all. I have lifesteal and damage reduction against you. I'm going to mink form, which is going to increase my attack speed. I'm going to alt you, which lowers my, uh, my damage taken while also stacking that damage reduction on the one. Now, I know this sounds super dumb, but it's exactly how they wanted it to be. When you are using your one, like in a 1v1 scenario... Or even if you're just, you know, boxing someone in solo lane. If you're using your one and your alt, you are taking 41% uh, less damage from the enemy that you ulted. It, which is just dumb. <laughs> Honestly, like, it's just dumb. Now, obviously, the damage mitigation needs to level up here. I know you can't see it. It's behind my face cam, but you can see that it has a uh, and it's going up. And the damage mitigation needs to level up here, but... Like right there, 21 plus 12.5. I was doing 33.5. Or he was doing 33.5% less damage to me just because I was punching him. That's it. That's the only reason. It's crazy. And then uh, the shield is now 150 HP plus 75% of my protection, which is 160 right now. So the shield is not bad at all. The shield lasts for... Long time, I'll be honest. Look how much no damage I'm taking. I'm going to turtle form here. Get that massive shield. I don't know where you're going, buddy. It's nowhere fun, that's for sure. Never mind, you're actually, you're actually having a pretty good time. Never mind. Nice. That shield just took three tower shots for me. Is this one actually up? Oh, it is. Or the red buff, not the one. I'm sorry. This life steal is real good, man. It's actually real good. I almost have my three maxed out. Look how big that shield is already. That shield is already like nearly 20% of my max HP. And I have two items. And one of them is strictly for damage, pretty much, which is stone cutting. This is going to be a very fun god. I'm going to play a lot more Erlang Shen, probably. I'm not really that scared of you. Like, I know you do damage and whatnot, but... If I use my one and my alt, what are you going to do to me? Realistically. You're going to do no damage to me at all. There's no reason for me to be scared. We go. Couple auto attacks and he runs away. I'm gonna go get my next defensive item, which is going to be Um What is a great like this is gonna give me a ton of protection. And obviously I'm gonna go shell because I'm trying to make a massive shield. 
Uh, Mantle of Discord is going to give me a ton of protection. Obviously, only 55 of it is usable against him, but it doesn't just take protections from, you know, physical or magical. It takes both. So when I get Mantle of Discord, not only am I getting the stun, which will be helpful, but I'm getting 110 extra protections to add for my for my three. I was going to say alt because it feels like it should be an alt. Like, he just ulted me and toed me, and my shield tanked everything. Look at how stupid this is. Yep. That's ridiculous. And by the way, he is not doing no damage. Like... His alt 1-2 combo did, I don't know, nearly 600 damage, and it didn't even break my shield. Already. And we're, I'm level 15 with two and a half items. This is so ridiculous. This god is so tanky now. When you compare him to what he used to be, like tank-wise, to now, he really went from being a... Uh, a solo laner and a jungler to a solo laner and a support. I will say my damage doesn't feel like it got lowered that much either. I still feel like I am chunking away. Now I'm invincible. I feel like I am chunking away. Obviously, I want a Pridwin. Pridwin got nerfed by 10% the shield, but that's okay. I have 290 protection now. I'm going to go up by 15. So I have 300 protection pretty much. Which means I should be able to shield for a ridiculous amount. Look at this. I just took... I just took 400 damage from the tower. Not to mention what he hit me for, which I don't even know if he did. And... I mean, realistically, walked away without ever getting damaged. This is crazy, man. Like, I can tank the tower for my minions... While tanking the tower. Or while taking the tower. I got hit with... With two, uh... Man. I'm just always full HP. Between the lifesteal and the damage reduction of the one. And then the massive HP from the three. And then you add on top the fact that you can heal so much with your alt and get more damage reduction with your alt. I mean, holy shit, dude. I just thought of another idea. Because you get you can get 41% damage reduction with your one and your alt. You can then use this to get another 15% damage reduction, bringing you to 56% damage reduction. And then you can get... Spirit Robe, which gives you another 15% damage reduction. You're telling me that I can pump out 71% pure damage reduction on this character with a relic and an item. One relic and one item, and that's it. Jesus, dude. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, look at my protections right now. 226 physical, 131 magical. And I'll obviously I get another 15 physical with this. So 241 physical, 131 magical. I'm at 370. I took all that damage. Look at this. I, I'm missing 600 HP. I shield and I pretty much have it. I pretty pretty much have it back. Crazy. Gonna run away. All right, just ran away. Look at this, man! Look at this.
I took no damage just now. I just walked in the Phoenix, took four Phoenix shots and walked out while hitting the Phoenix. Took no damage. You are probably doing that. Fine by me, I have blue buff anyways. I'm assuming you're backing. No big deal. I'm gonna use my mink form for the bull demon because the attack speed it gives me. Man, I don't know. He seems so strong. Erlang is already definitely not bad in duel, but it feels like they might have overtuned him just a bit because they didn't reduce his damage enough to make him this tanky. To make like I have I have fucking Pridwin and Mantle of Discord in duel. And I'm just W keying things. And there's nothing you can do about it. Like, I'm just so tanky. And here we are, full HP after that entire fight. And the fact that this shield, <clears throat> this shield lasts for 12 seconds is actually, wait, it's literally a permanent shield. Unless he breaks it, I can keep that shield on infinitely. All right, I'm just gonna sit here. Holy, dude. I feel so unkillable. <laughs> like, I have 3,600 gold right now. In hand. What's my next item? Honestly, I'm just going to make my shield even bigger. And then I'll get a mannequin's mace. Which will give me some more physical protection. And that'll be that. Like, I could very easily just go Kins instead of Spirit Robe and win the game for free. But I think, like, showcasing just how broken you can make a single mechanic off of one small rework is way more important. So as you see, you add 15 physical protection here. I have 300 and seven physical protection and 173 magical so what is that what's that i don't even know math wise it's like it's 480 i have 480 protection and then i just shield and i have a 250 base okay he only started doing damage to me hold on look at this Look at this. I want you to look at this. I am literal full HP right now. Literally full HP. This this Titan cannot break through my shell. Look at that, man. He has so much pen too. He has so much pen also. And I can just walk up and do that. That's insane, man. That is insane. I'm gonna go ahead and just do Bull Demon again. Shout out to my boy Mannequin Mace for bringing me this far.
Ja. Cute. Yeah, I see. He's so cute. So yeah, I, I don't know. This is kind of insane. Because he's hitting me with a ton of damage when he alts and and uh, uses his 1-2 combo, everything like that. He's hitting me for a ton of damage. And even though I'm like... I'm killing myself on his thorns, realistically. It doesn't matter. Like, Look at this. Oh, you want to fight me? Yeah? When are you going to break my shield, buddy? Good old taunt. All right. No worries, man. No worries. You do your thing, but I am invincible. I'm invincible at 480 protections. Hold on. Let me, let me bring out the calculator real quick. Cause I want to know how much my shield is actually doing Two, oh, okay. 480 times 0. 0.75. Cause you get 75% plus 250. My shield was giving me 610 HP. Every time I use my shield. Let me show you the monitor. You guys can check my math. I had 480 protections. I times that by 0.75. That gives me 360. Which is my scaling on my shield. And then my base damage on my shield or my base shield is 250. I'm getting 610 shield every time I use my three. 610 shield plus 41% damage mitigation anytime I use my three and my alt. That's fucking dumb. That's straight up dumb. That's so stupidly good. It's ridiculous. Erlang Shen is going to be meta in duel. I guarantee it. You do not get 41% damage mitigation in your normal kit and not be meta. That's just how it works. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of me breaking this down for you. And showing you my opinion on uh, how this is going to affect early in duel. Let me know your opinions in the comments. And uh, I hope to see you guys in later videos. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.